The sanguine type. Do you also know the kind of person who takes life easy and who can spread a good deal of optimism? The kind of person who is versatile and very sociable? Welcome to the world of the sanguine person. You want to know what exactly characterizes the sanguine type? How exactly do they think and feel? Which strengths and weaknesses are typical for them? How can you identify the sanguine type accurately? In this video, we will give you some answers. Enjoy! Sanguis is a Latin word for blood. A sanguine person takes life lightly. Therefore, Optimism and enjoyment of life are attitudes that come naturally to sanguines. A feature that clearly describes the sanguine is his or her easygoing nature. However, he or she often lacks discipline and consistency and is often naive. Come to negotiate, eh? Have you, you slimy git? Look what I got. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. And guess what's inside it? Enough. Sanguines are eager to gather new impressions frequently. Almost like a butterfly that flies to and fro between the flowers, apparently without plan and determination, sanguines want to collect a variety of experiences. A sanguine person can be enthusiastic quickly, but usually not for long, because all too soon a new stimulus will attract his or her attention or interest. Accordingly, the sanguine's fundamental nature also implies his or her constructive quality, which is versatility. However, the sanguine often has rather superficial knowledge and views. He or she tends to be uncritical and does not examine things thoroughly and comprehensively. Likewise, he or she is usually not at a loss for words. It's a key. No, much more better. It is a drawing of a key. Gentlemen, what do keys do? Keys unlock things. And whatever this key unlocks, inside there's something valuable. So we're setting out to find whatever this key unlocks. No. If we don't have the key, we can't open whatever it is we don't have that it unlocks. So what purpose would be served in finding whatever need be unlocked, which we don't have, without first having found the key what unlocks it? So we're going after this key. You're not making any sense at all. Any more questions? So, do we have a heading? Ha! Ah, a heading. Set sail in a uh, new general. Uh, that way, direction. Captain? Come on, snap to and make sail. You know how this works. Come on, wait, wait. The two basic characteristics of the sanguine are being extroverted and conflict avoiding. 
The resulting defense mechanism is that the sanguine does not face conflicts. Sanguines use distraction tactics, they joke, downplay things, or simply suppress them to avoid any confrontation with the problem. How are you feeling, Georgie? Saint-like. Come again? Saint-like. I'm holy. I'm holy, Fred. You get it? The whole wide world of irrelated humour. And you go for, I'm holy. That's pathetic. I reckon I'm still better looking than you. The sanguine is highly sociable. However, his or her relationships are rather superficial. He or she wants tolerance and no restriction. His or her drive is interest, as well as curiosity or enthusiasm. The sanguine person forgives mistakes quickly and does not think about their own ones for long. Thank you. Why not? We are very much alike, you and I. I and you. Us. Except for a sense of honour and a decency and, and a moral centre and personal hygiene. Trifles. You will come over to my side, I know it. You seem very certain. One word, love. Curiosity. You long for freedom. You long to do what you want to do because you want it. To act on selfish impulse. You want to see what it's like. One day, you won't be able to resist. Why doesn't your compass work? And my compass works fine. Because you and I are alike. And there will come a moment when you have a chance to show it. To do the right thing. I love those moments. I like to wave at them as they pass by. You'll have the chance to do something... something courageous. And when you do, you'll discover something. That you're a good man. All evidence to the contrary. <laughs> oh, I have faith in you. Want to know why? Do tell, dearie. Curiosity. You're going to want it. A chance to be admired and gain the rewards that follow. You won't be able to resist. You're going to want to know what it tastes like. Well, I do want to know what it tastes like. But seeing as you're a good man, I know that you've never put me in a position that would compromise my honor. I'm proud of you, Jack. Land ho! Now we'll show you again a scene with Jack Sparrow, which illustrates many aspects of the Sanguine. This dock is off limits to civilians. I'm terribly sorry, I didn't know. If I see one, I shall inform you immediately. Apparently there's some sort of high-toned and fancy to-do up at the fort, eh? How could it be that two upstanding gentlemen such as yourselves did not merit an invitation? Someone has to make sure this dock stays off limits to civilians. It's a fine goal, to be sure. But it seems to me that a, a ship like that makes this one here a bit superfluous, really. Oh, the Dauntless is the power in these waters, true enough. But there's no ship that can match the Interceptor for speed. I've heard of one. It's supposed to be very fast, nigh uncatchable. The Black Pearl. <laughs> well, there's no real ship that can match the Interceptor. <laughs> Black Pearl is a real ship. No, no it's not. Yes, it is. I've seen it. You've seen it? Yes. You haven't seen it? Yes, I have. You've seen a ship with black sails that's crewed by the damned and captained by a man so evil that hell itself spat him back out? No. No. But I have seen a ship with black sails. Oh. And no ship that's not crewed by the damned and captained by a man so evil that hell itself spat him back out could possibly have black sails. Therefore, couldn't possibly be any other ship than the Black Pearl. Is that what you're saying? Like I said, there's no real ship as can match the Interceptor. Aye! Yeah! 
Be sure to check out the other videos in this series to recognize the other three temperaments. In further videos, we will also present and explain to you how you can successfully get on with and communicate with each of the temperaments. If you are interested in the study of character and personality, or if you simply want to understand the mentality of your fellow human beings, that is, what motivates them and how you can get on with them in the best way, then make sure to watch our upcoming videos about the personality archetypes. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our topics and like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you very much and maybe see you in the next video.